and 98 <laughs> days, seven hours, eight minutes, and five seconds away from Christmas. Retailers are getting a head start on the hiring for the holidays. At least they're trying to. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there were 757,000 retail job openings in July, 100,000 more than the same time last year. The number of openings uh, surpassed the number of hires from March through June for the first time in a decade. Retailers are responding to the shortage of workers by starting the search early and raising wages and offering extra perks, including paid time off for part-time workers. Uh, I guess also, Mike, speaks to a little bit of a bounce back we've seen in the traditional retailers yeah. th this year. Right. So you have traffic is up in a lot of the retailers. Obviously, they're all kind of gearing up for it. They got very lean in past years. So uh, it's, it shows you the front of work, worker shortage in several different sectors, right? We have truckers, call centers. You see these reports. And then retailers, in a, you know, in a very tight job market, you're offering two months you know, of, of work, and that's easy to so say. So the no question to, is, are we going to see prospect. higher wages because of the supply of the shortage of workers, right. or are these all going to be temporary workers, which, yeah. which, which don't if, if you can increase the overall wage picture? And it, I just don't know how much retailers perceive they have that flexibility to raise, raise wages. Uh, on, on another sort of point on this, and I guess it was really inventory levels a couple of years ago that, that took the stocks down around Christmas, that they kind of overrun that level. Last year, they were much leaner and therefore ready for it. It set them up for a better performance this year. Is it going to flip back the other way, hire too many, get, get too much inventory in, and, and, and perhaps the... You know, the, I doubt struggle. it would come from the hiring. I think it would probably be much more about where they allocate the inventory. Um, I, I doubt it was just one good year and a few good months this mm -hmm. year is going to change the orientation all that much. And the question, I guess, is another question is how much is going into e-commerce? So many of these yeah. businesses have, built, from just the time from last year to this year, built up their digital businesses. And what happens on the tariff front? If we continue right. to see another announcement potentially today, which starts to include consumer goods, and then another $200 billion, that, that includes apparel and everything Labor else. Labor Day, supposedly, holiday season goods are supposed to be in the country for the most part.